you head over to my Instagram page, 95% of the content on there was shot with a camera that's six years or older. Welcome to my super professional YouTube channel, my super professional backdrop, and my super professional side sitting chair that I'm just gonna sit on to record this video, because why not? <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Leo. I'm a filmmaker and street photographer based in London, England. I've been shooting video for about three years now and I've been lucky enough to use many different cameras and I'm going to explain to you why all these amazing and beautiful cameras with amazing megapixels and bells and whistles don't really matter. And I'm not going to be cliche and say hey, it's about the camera that's in your pocket, not the camera that you want to you use and you, you want to have. I'm here to tell you that there's another alternative that people forget about and I'm gonna go through it with you today. So literally one of the main questions I get asked on a daily basis is, hey Leo, what kind of camera can I buy for my first camera? It has to be cheap, has to be cheap, but it has to be amazing. So cheap and amazing. Two words that don't really go together, but for the argument's sake in this video, I'm gonna try and make it work and I'm gonna explain to you what you can get for cheap and amazing and get great results. Today, I'm gonna go through still cameras and if this video gets enough views, enough likes, enough reception, then I'll move on to video cameras and I'll maybe make video based on film cameras, who knows? Who knows? It's so easy to jump onto YouTube and see all these amazing camera reviews about the cameras that you could never afford, and I could never afford, and he could never afford. In a day and age when a thousand pound is considered as low budget camera, that's the day that just I thought would never happen. Some of my favorite shots, some of the best shots ever made on a camera have been borderline out of focus. It's the image and the story that they capture in that image. That's what makes a great photo, not just having Tintac super zoom in, pixel peeping focus and detail. It's about the story that you capture within the image. Even if it's portrait, street photography, landscape photography, I think in order to take an amazing photo that really hits you in here, you have to have an element of story behind it. You have to think, I wonder what the photographer was thinking when he took this picture. If you head over to my Instagram page, 95% of the content on there was shot with a camera that's six years or older. My street photography camera, and that is the Fuji X Pro 1, which is by no means a super, super, super budget camera like 50 pounds, but it is a camera that is very affordable in the grand scheme of 1,000 pound, 2,000 pound cameras. I picked up this camera on eBay for about 150 pounds. That's nearly about $200 if you're in the States. When this came out, it was nearly 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds for this camera that I picked up for 150 pounds. Yes, it was six years later, but if you look at my Instagram that I mentioned before, you probably can't tell, unless you're a super high-end pixel people and a super high-end photographer, even seeing past the downgrade of Instagram, that it was shot on a camera this old. This is what I mean. You can shoot on pretty much anything, especially if you post it on Instagram, and it will look good. But I love shooting with this camera because this camera, this is when I come into the hole, it's not the camera that it matters, is what's in your pocket and whatever everyone else says. When you hold a camera that you really, really like the look of, you really enjoy taking pictures of it, I think that comes into a lot of things when using it in the field. Don't get me wrong, there are faults and there are bad things about this camera that I can go into, but there's no point because ultimately I love this camera so much. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a list of different types of cameras in the description below that I think can do a job, if not a better job than this, and it will cost quite low in price. I'm gonna break it up into these different categories. Not everyone's budget is the same budget. Everyone has different cheaps, everyone has different expenses, um, so I'm gonna just break it down into this. Category one is one pound to 100 pounds, then it'll be 200 to 300, 300 to 500, 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. So I'm gonna link all the cameras I think are amazing for the money. I will be posting a lot more content on my Instagram page, 
on stories. I'm posting lots of questionnaires and video ideas that things that you want to see on my Instagram page. So please make sure you follow me there, Leo Orlando Galang. I'll be linking it below. If you enjoy seeing more content like this, see my face talking about all these different things like cameras, street photography, filmmaking, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button because apparently that is the coolest thing to do. And that's what I've been told every time I watch your videos. So to sum up the video today, yes, you can pick up very cheap cameras that do amazing work and amazing job. Um, I will list them below. As a first video, I don't know how you found it. Was it interesting? Did it help you? If it did, please consider sharing it to your friends. Let me know. Let's grow as a community and let's be vocal about our ideas and our passion, which is photography, videography, filmmaking, and all that good creative stuff. So guys, like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit that bell button if you want to know more and have first dibs to the videos that I'll be making. I'm looking to upload every Wednesday. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep shooting and keep creating and doing what you love. Peace.